What's up everybody? On today's video, we're going over what you can purchase in Brick, New Jersey for under $350,000. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Steve McCutcheon. I'm a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway, located over in Manalpin. And we cover everything in the Central Jersey real estate news on this channel. So if you wanna be the first one, so everything that's going on in the Monmouth or Ocean County area regarding real estate, feel free to click the bell, hit the subscribe button. Let's get this show started. So for today, we're focusing on the Evergreen Wood subdivision located in Brick. It's in the Northwest section of Brick, which borders with uh, Ram, the Ramtown section of Howell. So it's pretty much the first town you're gonna come into when you're going through Ocean County at the very top. And uh, yeah, let's kind of like take a look a little bit around here. So there's 804 units here in uh, Evergreen Woods, and it's a pretty, pretty big complex. There's three different sections it was built into. So you have the North Loop section, which we're walking on right now, the South Loop side, and then there's a second or a third side, I'm sorry, that is located on the other side of Newton Corners Road, which is like the main road turning into the development. You can get from the South Loop side to the North Loop side, just going through the development, but you can't go the opposite way because you're going down a one-way street. So just kind of give you a heads up there. So there's three different sections of it, and it's pretty nice. All right, so we just kind of walk around the development a little bit more here, guys. I just wanted to mention that we are in a, we are seeing condos today. So when you live in a condo, you typically have to pay something called an HOA fee. And that's just going to be a monthly fee, maybe done quarterly or semi-annually. Uh, and what happens is the Homeowners Association has a board of directors that's made up and they decide what kind of price that your HOA fee is going to be. And that'll cover certain things and amenities. So for instance, Evergreen Woods is $109 a month, which is actually very cheap. Um, even just for brick, I mean, in just in general, it's a very small uh, HOA fee. Typically, you'll see a lot of times at least 250, 3, 350, somewhere in that range in New Jersey. Some are even higher. Um, that covers exterior maintenance, snow removal, landscaping, and garbage removal. And they have certain amenities too. And that's going to be they have three pools in development, two which are on the North Loop section, one that's going to be on the South Loop section behind the clubhouse. And the clubhouse can actually also be rented out for different events and stuff. So if you have you know, you're having a large family gathering or something like that, or just a party in general, you can go rent out the clubhouse instead of having it at your place. So it's a little bit easier of a cleanup. You don't have to prepare your house so much. And also sometimes in condos, you know, it can get a little tight. So if you're gonna have a large number of people, it's a little bit easier to do it outside the place. And one of the main things I always hear about uh, Evergreen Woods that people love is actually the location of it. So it's a Northwest section part of Brick, which still makes it pretty commutable. And as you can see behind me, I'm not sure if you can though, right behind me actually right there, kind of see a little bit. That's going to be the Garden State Parkway. So you are literally, I'm talking, you could throw a baseball onto it if you needed to, like that's how close you are. So. I would give a heads up though, if you're gonna be living on this side of the development, be aware that there could be possibly noise because you're talking maybe be, I don't know, 50 yards or so away from the parkway. If you're someone that doesn't want to hear cars going by possibly, you might hear that. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. You'll probably get used to it pretty quickly, but just my personal opinion on it. But uh, yeah, so the Garden State Parkway is right here. So you're about an hour away from either the Newark or Atlantic City airports if you have to fly anywhere or go pick somebody up, which is very nice and convenient. And I'd probably say this is one of the better spots you should all get run over here, that uh, if you want to commute to the city, you still possibly can from Ocean County. So if you guys saw one of my previous videos about the top five pros and cons of living in Ocean County, one of them was the lack of commuting to the city, uh, just because as soon as you get a little too far south, it's just going to be a, a hassle to get up, up there. Your eight hour workday is going to turn into possibly a 12, 13, 14. And I'm sure a lot of people don't want that. So Brick and Evergreenwood specifically is probably still one of the few spots that is possible. So there are a few different models within, uh, within Evergreenwoods, uh, six to my knowledge at least. So you're gonna have the ranch style homes kind of actually right behind me, you'll see that one right there. And uh, that's gonna have your two bed, one full bath. Some will have a basement and some will not. That's pretty much a theme with a lot, a lot of these units. And then you'll have the two bed, one and a half bath. Again, some will, with, will have the ba uh, basement and others will not. And then the last unit you're gonna see is going to be the three bed, one and a half bath, which is gonna be your biggest unit in here. Also, some will have a basement or some will not. Alrighty guys, so I was actually able to get us into one of the models here that's currently for sale right now. So this unit is a two bed, one and a half bath. 
uh, with a basement, although it is not finished. And they listed it, it's brand new, completely remodeled, and it's listed for $309,900. So as you walk in, you'll see that we kind of come right into the living room. They put a little bit of a heat-in uh, little dining room right here. This door will just lead you down to the basement. We'll go check that out in one second. And on the first level here, you got your half bath right there. Walking through the hallway, you go right into the kitchen. Like I said, they basically did everything brand new here. So you have stainless steel appliances, very nice cabinets, soft clothes, and it looks like a marble or quartz countertop. You go around the back side here. You got a back door entrance, and then right there is a pantry. If you notice right through the window there, there's actually a fenced in backyard. So a really cool thing about Evergreen Woods is they allow you to have fences or decks in your backyard. So that's a really big selling point to some people. It kind of gives you a little bit bigger of a space to hang out with if you have people to come and gathering over, anything along those lines. Alrighty, alrighty. And then down here, we just got the basement. Nothing really crazy to see, but people do finish these in these developments. I've shown quite a few that are. People use it as a playroom, maybe a, a fitness center, um, at pretty much anything, man cave, office, a lot of space down in these units. Um, they all have sump pumps though, so don't be nervous about that. I've, everyone I've shown in here always has one, so uh, I've never seen any water or flooding in the area, people I've talked to, so you should be good on that note. That's pretty much about it. Okay, and as you can see, we came to the upstairs. So they got two bedrooms up here, one full bath. This is gonna be one of the bedrooms. This one faces the front of the house. Closet. Linen closet in the hallway we're just standing in front of. Do have this to the full bath. Again, everything is basically brand new in this house, it looks like. One more linen closet on the left. And here it looks like it's going to be the master. And this will just face the backyard. Finally getting to most of the prices in this development. I think the lowest I've seen is like right around like 210, somewhere around that, but it was a full gut shot remodel. And the highest sale in development was actually in May of 2023. And that was for 330, again, fully remodeled. And there was their biggest model. And most of the prices in here, pretty much, sorry, I'm just trying to pay attention to traffic so I'm not walking into it. And most of the prices throughout this community will be somewhere, say the average model is gonna be your two bed, one and a half bath, either with or without the basement. You'll see somewhere between like 275 and 300 right now is like their average, which have risen pretty good over the last uh, probably like two, three years, along with like the whole COVID surge and appreciation. Um, so yeah, around 275 to 300. To go along with that though, uh, with the prices and everything, what Evergreen Woods has that a lot of other condo communities do not have is actually the ability to have FHA funding for buyers. So that's a big loan that a lot of first time home buyers use, but can't be used while you're trying to purchase a condo or townhome majority of the time. I don't have an exact statistic of what it is, but honestly, probably about one in 10 really do have it. Um, the reason being is most of these communities have to apply every couple of years and most of them don't meet the requirements that the FHA has in order to keep the funding. So pretty much that's about it. Um, but yeah, Evergreen Woods has it. It's eligible up until 2024 in August. So you still have about another year-ish, maybe 11, 10 months, depending on when this video comes out. So just gotta give you a heads up on that one. In terms of schooling, there's a lot of schools that actually happen in Brick. It's a very big town. So you have eight elementary, two middle, and two high schools. So if you're living in Evergreen Woods, your kids will attend uh, Lanes Mill Elementary School, Veterans Middle School, and then you have Brick Memorial High School. The Brick covers pretty much right around average for New Jersey in terms of just like education and stuff. What they really excel at here is athletics. They have a big wrestling and football uh, heritage and program throughout the, uh, the whole town. And uh, yeah, if you're into that or your kids are into that, definitely a great place to check out. Going over some of just like the shops in the area, uh, Brick has an unlimited amount of everything. So from Evergreen Woods, you're probably about like 10 minutes away from all like these shops over on Route 70 and Route 88. And you have every option, like I said, available. You have shop, if in terms of just like food shopping, you have ShopRite, you have Costco, Target, Walmart's over there. Uh, you have a Lytle, maybe Stop and Shop, I'm not sure exactly what town it's, in, or it's considered in. But yeah, so everything from the food store on the food side. Then you have restaurants galore. You have any chain restaurant you could possibly imagine. You have plenty of mom and pop or small business owner uh, restaurants, which are great. A couple that are sitting on the water. Pretty much anything if you wanna go for pizza 
wings, sushi, a uh, good burger, just a decent bar. You have every option here in Brick. And it's from Evergreen Woods, you're probably only about 10 to 15 minutes away from all of them. Finally, we gotta go over one of my favorite portions about living in Brick, because I am a resident here as well. And that's going to be being very close to the beach. I prefer to go to Point Pleasant if I'm just trying to stay local and stuff like that. And about like 10, maybe 15 minutes from here if you're looking at Evergreen Woods. My personal favorite though, if you have the time, you don't mind taking a little bit of an extra trip, you're about 45 minutes away from Long Beach Island, also known as LBI. It's a lot more private over there, uh, low key vibe, and you're not gonna be bombarded by families and there's not a, a massive crowd or tourist attraction. So I highly recommend it if you get the chance, check out LBI, that's my favorite spot. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed our tour of Evergreen Woods here today. Uh, again, it's under $350,000 was the whole point of the video. Most of these units range in between two seventy-five dollars and three hundred. dollars Some will go a little more, some will go a little less, just depending on the unit and what kind of shape it's in. And yeah, you know, Evergreen Woods has FHA funding, which I told was a huge thing for first-time home buyers. And don't forget on the selling side too, your house is going to be more uh, appealing or is going to be eligible to more buyers out there than just a regular condo community. So it's a big plus on the selling side as well. If you have any questions or you're thinking about buying, it could be a month, two months, three months, six months, or even a year out. All my contact information is down below in the comments. Uh, yeah, feel free to call, text, or email me. And real quick, before you get a chance, just make sure you like this video and also shoot a comment down below on what your favorite part about it was.